Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I am back out at the hangar. Uh, I'm gonna be out here for another about four days getting some work done. And I have really three main tasks that I'm gonna try and do while I'm out here. I don't know if it's gonna be one video or two videos, but uh, I'm definitely gonna try and do three main things. The first thing that I wanna do is I wanna get a staircase built going up to the second floor from the shop side. And that staircase is going to go over the water utilities. So the, the staircase underneath the staircase will be a utility room for the pressure tank, hot water heater, and water softener that I'm going to install. Uh, and then after the staircase is built, uh, I need to get the fridge for the travel trailer put back together. I'm probably going to do most of that off camera. But I did end up ordering a replacement cooling unit for that fridge and I'm going to install the cooling unit and then get the fridge put back in the RV. That way we have a working refrigerator out here. Um, and then the last thing that I'm going to do, which I will, which I will do on camera, is we are going to start working on the plumbing vent lines. So I got a bunch of 2 inch PVC, a bunch of 2 inch PVC fittings, and we are going to start routing the vent lines that go up and then we'll run overhead in between the floor joists for the second floor and and start running them all and tying them together so that we can have the the stack which will go up and exit out the roof but those are really the the three things i'm going to do like i said i'm not i'm probably not going to do the travel trailer fridge uh on on camera because y'all are here to see me work on a hanger y'all really care about my uh little travel trailer but uh, so the main things I'm going to be working on is, is building a staircase and uh, working on the plumbing vent lines these next four days. So uh, stay tuned and, and we'll get right to it. So we are making pretty good progress on the stairs. As you can see, we got 
about a third of the treads up. So this staircase, the way that we figured it out, is going to have 14 treads and 15 steps. So that last step will be up to the top second floor there. So we have about six treads down, so that leaves us with uh, whatever that is, eight treads to go. Um, you can kind of see the design that we have here of how the stairs are going to lay out. We have these, these kind of stringers or runners on the side that go all the way up. Uh, we, we didn't go with like a pre-cut runner because you can see that we didn't end up cutting the 2 by 12 at all for the steps. So the only, and I, and I mean, when you buy the pre-cut stringers, a lot of times they'll have steps cut out in them. But as you can see, we only cut down here at the bottom and then up there at the top. And it actually took us an embarrassingly long amount of time to figure out how to get those cuts. So the, the angle of the staircase is going to be a little bit steeper than is recommended for, for stairs generally. And our, our number one concern was we were trying to dodge the door to the load center here in the back. So we had to make it steeper so it would come under the stairs as opposed to a, a more shallow staircase which would come and cut across the front of that load center. So generally on your stair steps, the max step that you're allowed to have is a seven inch step as per if you're building in a city for code or something like that. These have like a 7.8 uh, step up, which you know I'm in the country so I don't have to have a permit for any of that, but these will be a little bit taller than your typical stair. Um, so let's actually go inside from the underneath now and take a look at how we're building it up, kind of see how the sausage is made. Um, as you can see, for underneath every step, we have this uh, block 2x4, which the tread is resting on. We have the, the kick plates or the toe plates that go underneath, which sit right on top of the tread. We have the, the, the tread is screwed from underneath here up into that kick plate that's above it. It is screwed down from the top into the kick plate below it. The kick plates, uh, the, the two by fours are screwed into the stringer themselves. The kick plates are screwed into the stringers themselves. So everything is screwed together very, very strong. So everything's connected uh, all the way around. All the stairs we're building with screws just to keep make sure everything stays real tight and secure as these get a lot of you know people running up and down them. I want them to be very 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 strong so I can carry heavy pieces of equipment up and down these stairs. Um, but that's kind of our basic layout. We have a, a block 2x4 underneath the tread which is screwed in and we also have the, the tread which is screwed in to these toe plates and these toe plates are also screwed into the stringers. So there's a lot of, of, of screws in different ways. Everything is all tied back into the two by six or the two by twelves. So everything is real tight, real strong. So we are about to get back to it. Keep putting treads on. The plan is also, we're gonna close this front face and this back face behind it with studs for a two by four wall because everywhere underneath this staircase is going to become a utility closet which is going to have the pressure tank, a hot water heater, and a, a water softener system for the whole house.
All right, guys, here is the staircase all up and uh, almost done. I haven't quite finished framing out the, the walls that are underneath the staircase, but we got both the runners up, all the treads and the toe boards in place. Um, and we got the back wall up and, and kind of framed around the electrical box there so we don't block access to the electrical box. Uh, and we got the front, front wall up excepting for here where I need to frame out for a door. Uh, I haven't done that yet because I'm not entirely sure what the door to going under the stairs is going to look like. I don't know if I'm just going to buy a pre-hung door and cut the bottom off of it to make it fit in that height. I don't know if I'm going to try and make my own door. I don't know if they make doors that go under stairs that have kind of a corner cut off the top to fit in that shape. Um, so I'm going to need to do some more research, figure out what I'm going to do with my door, and then I'll frame in the rough opening for the door. But let's go over here and we'll look at the treads all up. So there you can see the whole staircase here um, going up to the second floor. All the rises, like we talked about before, are you know 7.8 inches, a little over seven and three quarter inches. Uh, the depths of the stairs are right around nine and a half to nine and three quarter. A little bit of variance depending on that. Here you can see that we have this this wall framed up along this back wall. Did that for a couple reasons. I know that for this area under the stairs, I want to insulate to keep all of the the utilities, which is going to be the pressure tank, hot water heater, and water softener. I want to keep that room under the stairs insulated and heated. Um, and it also helped us space off here from this, the electrical box, so that I have plenty of room to get into the electrical box. The only thing that I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go drill a hole from the underside of this stringer here so that I can get a screwdriver onto this screw to take the, the cover off. So that's the only thing I gotta do once I have a hole to get a screwdriver in, take that screw off, we'll still be able to take the whole plate off. We can still open the door. So that was was a, another big benefit of spacing this, this stairs off the width of a two by four. And what I'll plan on doing is when I finish all this stuff out, I am going to do something to cover this wall that's in between the kitchen and the shop on this side. I don't know if I'm going to do plywood or rough cut lumber or just something like that, but whatever I, do, I decide to do to kind of sheathe the outside of this wall, I'm going to wrap around and I'm going to sheathe that whole back wall the same way, and I'll sheathe the front of the staircase this, with that same material so it'll all look like one kind of continuous big unit. Um, and then while we're talking about finishing stuff out, I'm also gonna go through and I'm gonna paint these stairs the same gray that I painted the, the subfloor on the second floor. But we'll go in here and we'll kind of look at it. So we talked about this uh, previously a little bit, but same sort of thing. We have these kind of two by four blocks underneath each step. Uh, we have the, uh, the tread sits on top of the two by four blocks. The toe plate from the previous or for the next step, sits on top of the tread. Everything is screwed together. So we have kind of tough to see. So, so screws up into the tread from here. You know, screws up into the tread from here. The toe boards screw into the stringer from the outside. The treads screw into the top of the toe boards from above. Um, so, so everything is all locked together, assembled together nice and strong, uh, and, and everything is, is real solid, held together with screws. And, and of course, with this wall, this, this back wall, and this front wall, adding support to the stringers, that helps hold the stairs up and up against the wall. But there, but there is the staircase, so the staircase is done. Hey guys, so I've been sitting here watching some of the footage and I have decided that I am going to break up the stairs and the plumbing vents into two videos. So that is actually going to be the end of this video. So uh, thanks, I appreciate you watching. 
and stay tuned. The next video that should be coming out right now is going to be the plumbing vents uh, getting installed throughout the rest of the house.